gonna be this. Hi everyone, I've ridden the Scottish six day trial six times. The last time being in 2010, uh, very much as a clubman rider. Today in this video, we're gonna talk about pacing and how to keep a good pace throughout the day, which can really make your week a lot easier and a lot less stressful. It's really important to keep up a good pace. You want to try and keep level with the rider numbers around you. Some of those guys are gonna have ridden the event many times before, so they know how to pace themselves throughout the day. Walk in the sections. You can easily lose a lot of time. If you spend an extra minute at each section, which isn't actually a lot of time, that's 30 minutes extra the day is gonna take you. There's 30 sections in Scotland every day. So that time, as a clubman rider, do you basically want to walk the section with your rucksack on, get an idea of where the section is going, put your rucksack at the top of the section, walk back down, taking notes of like the main points, jump on your bike and ride it. You do, You see the top boys hanging around for you know, a good few minutes, waiting for a tiny rock to move, really trying to go through for a clean. As a you know, mid-pack clubman, time's more important. Time in Scotland is quite tight. You don't have loads of time. You know, throughout the day, I was always thinking, keep moving, keep up with the riders around you. Across the moors, you want to go as as fast as you feel comfortable. You don't want to be pushing yourself and having big crashes, but at the same time, if you're fit enough, keep a good pace, keep kind of straight, kind of ride, you know, you're riding, you're riding the moors kind of fairly hard in order to keep good time. So you've got enough time to look at the sections, you've got enough time if you've got a problem during the day, you could easily lose front wheel puncture. It's kind of like half an hour out of your day and you need to be able to account for those type of things. Another good tip and something that can cost you a lot of time is where you park your bike when you get to the sections. Try and park as close as possible to the starts cards. Otherwise, you can come back and all of a sudden five people park their bike closer than you they come back at the same time, they jump on, you know, you've lost minutes there. You, d you don't want to be losing time like that. It's not a race, but at the same time, you want to be using your time, you know, your time wisely to try and, you know, maximize what you can, what you can do with it. And after saying you kind of need to go as quick as you can on the moor without pushing yourself too much, you really need to go sensible on the road. It's where, as Craig said in an earlier video, you can boil your bike. You've also got speed limits and things like that to think about. You don't want to go kind of breaking the law, giving the event a bad name. Um, and you can't really make up that much time on the road. Everyone can go basically at the same speed, so no racing, look after your bike. Trials bikes aren't designed for going down the road. It's kind of the moors and the track work and the sections and just being sensible. You know, if you go too fast on the moors, you can have a crash and have a problem. You know, go too slow, people are coming by you, you're losing time that way. Same on the, same on the tracks, keep a good pace, keep concentrating. It's very easy to, you know, be drifting off, how, you know, kind of thinking about something else and bam, you've hit a rock too hard and it's a front wheel puncher. So yeah, just try and keep up. If you've paced yourself right, you should aim to come back to Park Ferme with about 20 minutes to half an hour to spare. This enables you, you're allowed to use your run time of the day to work on your bike. So if you've got 20 minutes, half an hour to spare, that means you can sort any problems out, change your air filter, give your bike a good check over, and it's a much easier night's sleep, I can tell you, having those extra 20 minutes, get your bike all sorted for the next day, rather than have to be waiting. You get 15 minutes in the morning before you start to work on your bike. And if your bike's all done, it's a much nicer feeling than coming back late with bike problems, being low on time, and knowing you've only got 15 minutes in the morning to fix them. Hope you found this video helpful. We plan to do a few more of these in the run up to Scotland. We've all got good experience here of the Scottish. So yeah, if you've got any questions, then give us a ring or drop us an email or contact us on social media. 
and we should be able to help you. And if you subscribe to these videos, you'll get notifications. That will help the channel grow, as well as giving them a like. Thank you very much. Yeah.